Hello everyone. In our last video, we talk about Microsoft Extension AI and discuss how it works. In this video, I am going to show you how to integrate Microsoft Extension AI into a REST API using an ASP.NET Core application. For this demo, we will look at two examples. First, we will use Olama model, how to use a REST API. Then in the second part, we will use Azure AI inference with GitHub hosted model. Let's get started. To implement this Olama, first make sure this Olama model run in your local PC or maybe it's run in the server PC, doesn't matter. You have to be able to connect this model. I have used my local model. I installed a Llama 3.2. So this model I'm going to use for in this sample. And the first step, in Visual Studio, I have created two projects, one for extension A web app, here, a REST API code we are going to add. As I mentioned, this complete uh, ASP.NET application and another application called the console web app test. So this console application used to test our REST API. So first we'll implement the REST API. Second step, we go to the test our REST API. So in this project, I have added three packages, NuGet package, one for Microsoft extension AI, and the abstraction and finally llama package this i have already discussed in our last video so here i just include only the package information which need for our coding so here we are going to write our step by step process to implement this llama model in rest api so before builder here we have to add our llama model into this builder class after that we have to write the rest api to add our model to the builder class, we have to use the builder.services.add singleton. Here we have to pass our llama client. So llama client and first argument is the endpoint. Second argument is model ID. The endpoint is a local host because my llama model running in my local. So I have to pass my local host URL as a first argument here. The second argument which Llama model we are using it. So that model ID we have to pass. So the Llama ID, this one, Llama 3.2 is our model ID and localhost model ID we have to pass. So here I define my URL and model ID here. So this information I pass to here and model ID. So our object is ready. Llama chat client object is ready. The next step, we need iChat client interface because Microsoft extension AI based on this iChat client interface to connect to the model. For that, we have to use the API called add chat client in the service class. So builder.services.add chat client. Here we have to pass the our implementation, Llama implementation object to here. So services get required services Llama chat client. So the first of we add the singleton object, this object used here for reference for iChat client implementation. So these are the main step we done. And here we have to write the REST API interface so that user can send the message to this API. This API connect to the model and get the response from the model. The response sent back to the user. So app map post and chat is a pattern here and async function. So the to connect the model, we need chat client interface. So this is my first argument, chat client. And the second argument is from the user. So it's the user message available in the from body. And this is string and message. So wait client dot complete async. We have to pass the user message. That's it. So user use this endpoint to send the message. This message 
sent to the model and once model generate the response we just return it so this is a simple code and we move on to our console application to test this rest api code in the console application i have written some basic code so that i focus only on the required code in this video and before starting this one, I go back to our REST API again. Here you notice this API written the complete chat completion object. So we just, we not written the only string. So we written the complete object. It depends based on your requirement. You have to send the complete object or you want to send only the uh, user message or whatever it is, how you want to. But here for this sample, I'm going to use this return to the complete object. I have to deserialize this one to the client side that we will cover up and go to our uh, main code. So the main code I return here while loop. So get the uh, user message continuously like chat. So once we receive the message, we send this message to this call API async function. Here I return the HTTP client code and deserialize the user input and uh, call the post async function which URL and the message has to pass. Once this API return the response, I just make sure the response is success and here I read the string, complete string. So this is a JSON string we have to deserialize. As I mentioned, here we are returning the complete object so that we have to deserialize this chat completion class. To use the chat completion class, we have to use the NuGet package. This Microsoft extension AA package has to install. So I installed this package also in client side. So here I'm going to deserialize the, this JSON. Uh, return deserialization dot deserialize chat completion class. So this class we have to deserialize and the response content and the option we have to pass and this option I have already defined here in the top. So JSON option, that's it. So the return type changes a chat completion. And here we call this API. So the return object I receive this variable response and we just print the result here. So console dot right line dot right line a response dot message dot text so model response message just print next i have to pass the api url so my rest api running in the, my local pc so i pass the my url here so all the step is clear i just print one more message console enter message to send to the chatbot okay so first we will start the rest api Solution here start the instance. REST API has started and we start the, our console application. Enter a message to send to the chatbot. So here send hello. Ah, response status code does not indicate success. Method not allow. So here I missed out to pass chat here. Seems to be all fine. Now we start the REST API. After that, we start the, our console. So I send message hello. Yeah, here we get the response. Hello, how can I assist to today? Just we can send in any message like, good, how are you? So we get the response from the REST API and the REST API connected to the model. So this is a simple example to connect Llama model using the REST API concept. Second part, we are going to connect to the GitHub model using this Azure A inference. There is a small changes the implementation. That's what I bring the Azure A inference also in, into the REST API concept. To use Azure A inference, make sure you have to install the another package called this one, 
Microsoft extension A, Azure A inference. So this package has to use. So here we'll start the write the code. Builder dot services dot add singleton new chat completion client. So we have to pass the endpoint. The endpoint is model inference from the Azure. So I pass my URL here, HTTPS models.inference.a.azure.com. Second argument, we have to pass the token. So the token I have defined in my environment variable. So I read from there, environment.get environment variable, the variable called GitHub token. And it's available in my user. So environment dot target user. Okay. So this I pass to here. Token. Ah, here I have to do new URI. Yeah, fixed. The next step we have to use the same step like this one. I'm going to add here builder dot services dot add chat client. So read from the service class. So service service dot get required service and we have to use the chat completion client chat completion client. So there is an exception. If you see the exception invalid operation exception cannot convert method group get required service to non-delegate type i chat client did you intend to invoke the method so here we cannot simply use like llama model and this is quite different here so we have to call the as chat client so this api we have to call so this api return the i chat client interface implementation after that, it is comfortable to use this iChat client API. And here you have to mention which model you want to connect. So this inference model contains, there are a lot of models available. So you have to specify hey, which model you want to connect. So here I want to connect the GPT-40 mini. So I pass this information here, GPT-40 mini. That's it. So the rest of the code remains same. No need to do any changes in this API. It's connect and get the response to this GPT-40 mini model. And this code, I think uh, if not required, I just comment this code. And we start the application and test the same steps. First, I start the REST API. Second, I start the console application. Here we'll send the message, hello. Yeah, okay, so stray, good morning. So seems to be it's working to use our GPT-40 mini model. So this is just an example how to use Microsoft extension AI into our REST API application.